everyone, my name is Renee Francis and the title of my speech is Don't Be a Coward and Come Forward. My audience tonight is David, my brother-in-law. 8 a.m., a 19-year-old 19, 19 male shot nine times in a drive-by shooting on his way to work in 2011. 4 p.m., a 20-year-old male robbed and stabbed to death on his way from work in 2011. 6 p.m., a 21-year-old male choked to death while on his job in 2011. What do all three of these have in common? They are young men with jobs, murdered in broad daylight, and to make things worse, all of the witnesses were not eyewitnesses. Coming forward and reporting a crime and identifying its suspect or suspects help the police to solve the crime. It also helps prevent future crimes and helps the victim and family members receive justice. In 2011, an estimated 1.2 million people death by violent crimes occurred nationwide. Of that 1.2 million people, this purple represents the amount that were murdered violently. The purple section represented 14,612 people murdered by violent crimes in 2011. This section, 20% of the pie, represents all those who were murdered under the age of 22. Murdered 2,945 young people, 16% were men, and the other 4% were females. If you do not understand what 1.2 million people amount look like, here's the of that crime, only 47% of the crimes of the 14,000 were solved through eyewitnesses. 1.2 million, it's a lot of people. Here's a picture representing 1.2 million people. This is the amount of people that died by violent crime in 2012. Of the, of the 14,000 people, that represents the population of Alamo, Texas. Three, 3,000 under the age of 22 represent every child in this building that were murdered. Reporting a crime through identifying a witness or giving a detailed description of what happened can help investigators solve a crime. Even though fingerprinting, DNA, and other crime scene investigation tools exist, people still get away with crime. And sometimes it is the evidence of an eyewitness that helps solve the crime. According to NBC News, law enforcement official says that the chief reasons many of these crimes go unsolved is due to drug-related and gang-related crimes, because which uh, both of them are often anonymous and impersonal, and so it's very hard for them to solve these crimes. As a result, the police departments are carrying an ever-growing number of cold cases to their books. If more eyewitnesses would come forward and help, many cold cases would be solved. But the longer the eyewitnesses take to come forward, the harder it is for the case to solve because eyewitnesses die or memory fades. Therefore, it is best to give your statement when the event is fresh and current in your mind. When you come forward with your evidence, your statement, and your identification, investigators are able to put all your evidence and the evidence from the crime scene together and create a story 
this story helps them solve the crime and put the criminals behind the bars. Many times witnesses do not come forward because they are scared of their or their family's lives. They believe that identifying or relating the event, relating the incident to authority is considered snitching. According to the Urban Dictionary, snitching is giving up incriminating evidence to people one has no business talking to in the first place. Gang-related violence, drug-related crimes, and murders are a few crimes that nearly never get solved because people are scared to be snitchers. These crimes usually have more than one criminal, and so the persons are very fearful of coming forward because they're scared the other persons would, would hurt them. Eyewitnesses should come forward and report crimes because it will help prevent future crimes. Usually these criminals do not only commit one crime. In fact, it has been proven that when a criminal is caught, this criminal is usually linked to a previous crime. If you do not help in the solving of a crime, it hinders the investigation in an obstruction of justice and impedes the police investigation. In some cases, if the police knows you are withholding information, they can charge you for accessory to, as an accessory to the crime, so to prevent you from having to go to jail or behind bars, just come forward and make your statement or report a crime. Coming forward and giving information on a crime or reporting a crime helps keep communities safe and because police are able to convict the criminals or the persons responsible. Not only does it keep the community safe, it keeps families feeling safer in their homes, it gives justice to the family members and the victims, and you get a sense of relief knowing that you are doing the right thing. In many cases, there is a financial reward given to a person that helps in the criminal conviction. Therefore, not only is there satisfaction, justice, safety, and the relief in coming forward, but there is a monetary reward. We have killers walking among us. We have killers living in our communities. Your help, your statements, your reports, your identifications can help put these criminals where they should be, behind bars. My, cousin kill, my cousin's killers were never found or imprisoned. But do not make another family not receive justice by being a coward. Stop being a coward and come forward. Thank you.